Here we have yet another Big Sur. This botryoidal, this botryoidal jade from Big Sur, likely from Cape San Martin, but just beautiful color bubbles. The, the, the blue and uh, beautiful green color bubbles are a little hard to come by. And this is a beautiful platter. Uh, and it's a beautiful mammoth effigy. And the mammoth is facing right. With this, it's trunk uh, off to the right. And that area there has all been worked. That's not accidental. That's been broken off in paleo times and chipped off there to uh, make the uh, uh, baby mammoth with its little baby trunk right there facing off to the right. And that's a cool mammoth image there. And then when we turn it this way, this is a, a big natural plaque of jade bubbles that the Paleo Indians worked uh, over 12,000 years ago into this Paleo Story Stone effigy. Now we have a very powerful mammoth with this big bubble right here, its eye. Very powerful looking mammoth now facing off to the left. That eye is very powerful right there. What a beautiful blue bubble that is. This is just magnificent jade. Um, it was uh, found by a diver and uh, it's been worked in ancient times. But that's the eye of the mammoth and the trunk off to the left. Now we also have some great face imagery here too. Um, we've got a, an older face with a big hooked nose there and this mouth. That's one reason why they chip that out uh, to form that uh, older face. The eye here of the older face looking left. This is its nose. Look at the color of those bubbles. Aren't they beautiful? And uh, we have another face looking off to the right. And just a fantastic piece. Uh, now, on this side, we have uh, more bubbles and more imagery. And it, it's a little hard to control this because of the size and shape. Now we have a mammoth facing left. And when we turn it this way, now we'll have a great mammoth image now facing right. Very beautiful botryoidal jade. Most botryoidal jade, like this piece from Cape San Martin, is more of a, oh, I'd call it more of a lime green, kind of a faded, faded lime, kind of a little, uh, not quite as translucent as you'd like to see. This is actually a jade effigy as well, but I won't get in uh, to it today. There's some pretty good face imagery on this that's been worked, but uh, I won't get into that. This one here is another beautiful mammoth effigy from Cape San Martin. Now this one's been worked all the way around the perimeter. So this has been carved all the way around the perimeter. And of course that's a mammoth, charging mammoth facing left. Now we have the baby mammoth with its big hair flare tuft on top of the head and its little trunk over facing right. What a great botryoidal, botryoidal uh, Cape San Martin, no doubt. Big Sir Jade specimen. Now the baby mammoth facing left with its little trunk. Got a little bit of vulcanization here. What well, must have been up in the cliffs there uh, that the Indians left it there. And then of course now we have that great mammoth with the eye and hair tuft here looking off to the right. That's all been worked all the way around. And that is botryoidal jade, which is what you see more commonly and not quite as colorful uh, as this specimen. Now, some of these are some of the lenses that I've uh, collected over the years. Many of these I've found. And uh, this is what I like to collect. In fact, uh, this one here is the best jade lens I ever, I ever found. That's Big Sur Blue, no coral melanite in it. This one has not been in a midden, which is very rare, by the way. 99% have been in middens, this one hasn't. And it's a beautiful, beautiful blue, blue jade. I found this at Willow Creek North. 
it was a day where the waves were coming up pretty good. And they were churning the gravels and I was about, oh, up to my shins in water. The uh, wave had receded and I looked down and I thought it was a piece of blue glass because there were two rocks on top of it like that. So it looked like a piece of broken glass and then my mind registered and said, no, it's a piece of blue jade, Rich, go down and pick it up real quick, which, which I did hastily pick it up. And what a beautiful blue specimen, the most beautiful, uh, one of the most beautiful blue specimens I've ever seen. Uh, and I was very fortunate to find this. Uh, Pink Pinkerton, I had one at the campground when I pulled in there that day, and I told him I was going to go down and find a better one. And by golly, look at that. Wow. And then, of course, we've got uh, a number of beautiful lenses here. I found this uh, lens at Middle Cove uh, in the little cave on a minus tide where the water washes in and out. And that was <laughs> washed right in there. And what a beautiful bubble. It's a bubble lens. Uh, it's a bubble that's flattened out there, made into a lens, ocean tumbled. These are all natural ocean tumbled lenses. Now, Jade Bob found this one. Wow, what a specimen this one is here. Look at that jade. It's just like honey green. It's Vulcan and honey green. He found that wedge between two boulders down at the surf line. Unbelievable. Jade Bob York. And uh, that's where this piece came from. Whoa! That's a winner of a, of a jade lens, one of the finest ones I've ever seen. Oh, my God. And then there's a lot of blue lenses here as well. This is a big lens here. This is kind of nice. It's not as translucent as you might think, but it's a beautiful color. And uh, natural ocean tumbled lenses. Uh, just to share with you a little bit of my jade collection, here's a Vulcan piece I got from Kenny Camillo. Now, if you want to buy jade or sell jade, Kenny Camillo at Big Sur Jade Company is your man. He's a very honest person and has made a very honest living uh, and was largely responsible for put, putting J Big Sur Jade on the, on the map, quite frankly. And um, this is one of Kenny's pieces I bought from him some years ago, and that's a beautiful Vulcan piece of jade. Wow, what a beautiful Vulcan lens that is. Thank you, Kenny Camillo, for all that you've done for Big Sur Jade. Anyway, this is uh, just part of my collection. Wanted to share it with you and the Jade Effigies in particular.